Hello guys, today I want to talk about those two letters, DD, a function which we probably have used at least once in our Laravel career, and there's more to that than just those two letters. There are other alternatives, there are Laravel helpers of DD specific on some classes, so let me show you all the variety of DD. And side note, of course, for debugging you may want to use xdebug, you may want to use external tools like Spati Ray, but I feel that majority of us are pretty used to those two letters. So first let's see what's inside, and this may surprise you. If you click in PHP Storm, you may find out that DD is not actually a Laravel function. If you take a look here, vendor Symfony var dumper. So DD actually comes from Symfony and not from Laravel. Laravel actually uses a lot of Symfony classes under the hood, which makes it a good combination of tools. So what's inside that DD? Two things that may be new to you. Did you know that DD automatically returns 500 internal server error? So you're not just dumping and dying, but also tell your browser or your client that it was a 500 error. And also second thing, did you know you can DD several variables at once? So for example, I've experimented on my random project, it's a filament project, but that doesn't matter. So if you do this or this, and refresh and we have three times dd so it dumps all the variables and only then the script dies now if you want to just dump variables in the same symphony var dumper helper above we have dump so you can do dump instead of dd and then if we refresh we have those values above but the script continues and interestingly i'm not sure why maybe it would help me here another difference between dump and dd that dump returns the value or returns the last value of those variables if there were many. I'm not sure why would you need that, maybe comment below if you know the practical use case of that. So that's one thing I wanted to show you DD from Symfony. But then also on top Laravel adds DD function to many of its classes. So if we look for function DD in vendor Laravel, you may find interesting things like Query Builder does the DD. And there's more to that. There's DD Raw SQL. And I have a separate video about that, which is a pretty recent feature in Laravel, dumping the query with the bindings. And also you may find that Carbon has DD. So you can do something like user created at DD, chained at the end instead of using DD before the variable. And a few of those DD helpers are explained in Laravel documentation. So if you look for DD in Laravel docs, for example, in collections, there is a method that whatever collection you have, it may be eloquent collection from database. Instead of doing DD upfront, you may chain the DD, for example, get, map with keys, filter something, something, and then DD at the end as part of that chain. Or another example, HTTP client, you may do something like this, HTTP DD, and then get the URL, which would terminate the script execution and dump the request instance. Again, for debugging purposes. And of course, there's also benchmark DD, which would benchmark a few of your queries or requests. Basically, any Laravel or PHP function you have, it would measure how much time it takes and would get the results on the screen in milliseconds. I also have a separate video about that and I'll link that in the description below. And also kind of a side note tip from Al here. Did you know that you can do DD in Blade? Not by showing the helper, calling the helper, but there is a blade directive at DD. Same thing, but a bit shorter. And for other use case of DD that I showed in my PHP storm, but I didn't dig deeper into that, let me leave it to you as a homework so you would not be just passive viewers on this channel. And also it's really beneficial to learn to read the source of your tool, framework, Laravel, or whatever that is. So I hope you're curious enough what DD does for stringable or enumerable classes in Laravel. And in the comments below, you may share your own experience of creative uses of DD, maybe with some chain of other methods or on some specific class. Just share any of your experience on that topic. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.